Hi everyone, Sat Shri Akal. My name is Prinsi Kaur. I am a physiotherapist with expertise in manual and sports therapy. Also, apart from that, I have done dry needling practitioners course. As we all are stuck at home during this COVID-19 pandemic, so I thought that I'll help my family and friends with physiotherapy blogs. So here is my first physiotherapy blog on mechanical neck pain, very commonly known as cervical. I would like to inform you that cervical itself is not a illness. Instead, it's the name of the bones which is present in the spine of our neck. Now, mechanical neck pain is the pain of non-specific origin. About two-thirds of the population feels neck pain in some stage of the, their life and about 10% of the population can get chronic neck pains. So acute neck pains generally resolve in about few days or maybe weeks. It commonly arises on its own and usually has multiple factors including poor posture, neck strains, depression, anxiety, stress or occupational or sporting activities. Mechanical neck pain not only causes neck pain but also causes shoulder and arm pains and sometimes headaches. Physiotherapy treatment focuses on improving flexibility of your muscles, of uh, increasing the range of motion of your joints in the spine as well as increasing the strength and endurance of your muscles. Now I am going to teach you some simple and very easy exercises which doesn't require much equipment or you can say which don't even require any equipment and you can do these exercises anywhere and anytime. Exercise number one, chin tucks. Place your finger on your chin and roll your head back on your shoulder. Hold for five counts and then relax. Repeat five to ten times. This will stretch your muscles on the upper part of your neck which usually if tight causes headaches and sometimes cervicogenic vertigo that is spinning of your head. Next exercise is shoulder shrugs. For shoulder shrugs roll your shoulder back and then bring your shoulders up towards the ears. Hold it for 5 counts and then slowly bring it down. You can repeat this again for 5 to 10 counts. Our next exercise, shoulder blade squeeze. Next exercise is rowing. Rowing as it all says, as if you are rowing a boat. Keep your arms, keep your elbows and shoulder 90 degrees and pull your shoulders back. Our next exercise is neck isometrics in all four directions. Now for neck isometrics you just have to do is keep your hand this way and press down and hold for five counts. One, two, three, four, five and relax. One, two, three, four, five and relax. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Then on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Then for the back, 
One, two, three, four, five, and relax. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. These exercises will strengthen all your muscles from all the four directions. And I normally say to my patients that rather than wearing a collar, why not make your own muscles collar? Then is side stretch. For side stretch, just place your one hand under your buttocks or you can hold it from your side of the chair. And then just bend on the other side and feel the first resistance and hold for almost 15 to 20 counts. And then relax. Repeat two to three times on both the sides. Then is trap stretch. Usually my patient complains pain on this part of your neck. These are your upper trapezius muscles which normally get sore or tight due to anxiety or stress or lots of laptop work you are doing. These muscles usually have a tendency of getting tight. So for that all you have to do is again same position place your arm either under your buttocks or hold it from the side or hold the side of the chair. Turn your head 45 degrees and then and come back. Repeat from other side. 